I'm Dr. Bill Adams, and you're watching the Plastic Surgery Channel. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Adams, Chief Medical Officer of the Plastic Surgery Channel, and welcome to PSC Hot Bites, our newest program where the channel's experts cut to the chase, providing real answers to the questions that you want to know about plastic surgery procedures, topics, or technology. We want to help dispel the myths and marketing spin that often plagues patients and help you get the real story from our credible team. Joining me today via webcam is Dr. Peter Fedor from Los Angeles, California. Peter, it's always great to have you on with us. Thank you, Bill. You know, you know, you know how much I respect you as a, as a friend and as a surgeon, and there's no time that I perform a breast augmentation that I don't use something that I learned from you. So it's a real pleasure to be interviewed by you today. Well, we've all uh, learned much more uh, from you, Peter, I think, than you've learned from any of us. But, but you certainly are a, a world's authority on liposuction. That's what I wanted to talk to you about to start out with. Um, it's, you know, liposuction is always the first or second most popular cosmetic surgery procedure. Um, but, but why do many patients see us who need revision liposuction? And what's important for our viewers to know about that? Well, first of all, what's most important for reviewers to know is that something can be done if the result wasn't great. But um, when it comes to redo liposuction, um, unfortunately, liposuction is performed often by physicians who, were not, who are not plastic surgeons, and many of them had either no training or maybe at best a training at a weekend course, and maybe they were trained by somebody of their own background without plastic surgeons being part of the faculty. So consequently, some of the work is not done quite up to the standards that we perform it. In addition to that, the number of new technologies and patients get confused. The manufacturers are promoting these technologies and different machineries as something that replaces the surgeon's talent, which in a sense, uh, in effect, it does not. So when these procedures are done, with some of these technologies without necessarily the best surgeon doing them, then the results are not as satisfactory as they could be. The good news is that we can help these patients. The great majority of them, we can make significant enough uh, improvements that they are ecstatic with the new result. In my practice, about uh, actually more than 50% of the patients that we see and operate on in connection with some form of liposuction have had surgery before that they're elsewhere that they're not all that happy with the result. So we are very happy to be able to give them something that makes their, makes their uh, image of themselves and their ability to function and their self-confidence much better. That's great information. I had one follow-up, Peter. Uh, you know, you've been one of the pioneers of lip liposuction, so you've, you know, really introduced that technology to a lot of us here in the United States. Are you seeing more revision liposuction consults now than you did say 10 or 15 years ago? Is there more people needing to have revision liposuction or is it the same? For some reason we're seeing many, many more and I don't know whether I, uh, it partially perhaps because I developed a reputation for being able to help these patients so other pa plastic surgeons send patients to us. They may see somebody that they did not operate on but they think maybe they should send to us to have it worked on but also the fact that many surgeons or many physicians who uh, were not properly trained are doing the procedure. They think it's easy to perform. They take it in a very frivolous manner. When in, a, when in, when in, uh, actual, in actuality, you know, it's uh, just as difficult, if not more difficult, to perform good liposuction. It's a sculpting of a full part of the body through perhaps a tiny incision made in the skin with a tiny cannula you have only one chance. If it didn't work, you cannot say like a sculpture can say, oh, well, this was just a study. I'll throw away, take another block of marble and start again. Well, I know our, our viewers will really appreciate that information. And Peter, always a pleasure having you with us. And uh, thank you for taking time out of your day to spend it with us. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. And to best, my, my best to all you viewers as well.
Thank you. So we hope you enjoyed this segment of PSC Hot Bites, and be sure to get your next bite on our website at theplasticsurgerychannel.com, and we'll see you again soon. I'm Dr. Bill Adams, and you're watching The Plastic Surgery Channel.